That's just nice. All right, Brandon and Brody here. Uh, we're going on a little adventure. We're going to try sleeping overnight on the ice. Uh, we're going to go spearing and ice fishing. And I'm going to do a little bit of encouragement with him. I like to use these opportunities uh, to disciple my son in the faith. And so, especially in a pandemic, I think everybody's been a bit discouraged at times. And so I uh, definitely want to encourage him and show him what it looks like to be encouraging. The first thing we need to do, I actually haven't been on the ice yet this year, uh, is we need to head out there, drill a couple holes and see how thick it is. I have heard that there have been people out here, but I haven't seen them. So I'm gonna drill a hole. Hope it doesn't do that out there. Seven or eight right here. That's pretty good, bud. I think we're plenty safe. See some weeds. So I don't know if you can see the change in the ice right out there. You can kind of see the line. So that's where I'm concerned it might be a considerably thinner. And we do want to be spearing just on the other side of that. So we're going to have to be careful. So you can see here where the bay was still open. Yeah, so we got to be careful here to check uh, with the freeze line here on the ice on the other side because it's probably different in thickness. And I, th I would say I really need four to five to feel comfortable of good solid clear ice for us to do this. It's trying to change this. It's definitely thinner, isn't it? Yeah. You know what, we also left the tape measure in the truck. <laughs> so with about four inches here, well, we don't want to go out into the secondary freeze, and so we're actually gonna walk up along kind of the edge of the first freeze, which is at least two to three inches thicker. And I do believe there's a drop off that way that we can set up and, and spear. Uh, last year we had a lot of success up on, on this second freeze. And so I wish I could be there, but it's just not going to be probably safe enough. I don't really want to do it, especially since we're going to sleep overnight and have a heater <laughs> in, our, in our tent. So we're going to head up this way. Yeah, so Brody's leading the way. We're going to head up out, kind of right out there. Drop something like a, a latch one down there. But at least there's a fish. Oh, should I go? Wait till he's right below you. Get, yep. Okay, go right behind the head when you're ready. You got him! Alright, be careful. Slow. Look at that! You got him! Now grab onto the handle of the spear, keep pulling him up. Hey, dinner! Get him over here! Ah, foods! <laughs> High five! Give me five, buddy! Look at that! Nice! I guess this is a good spot. <laughs> hey! Not very big, but the first first fish of the year! Hey, you're, bro, you're one for one! Yeah! Way to go! Here! Yank it if you feel him. You got him? 
Was he there before you yanked? Yeah. Well, good try. It's been a slow day. We only got the one little northern so far, but the goal was to eat him for dinner. And so we need to clean him up here quick. Pretty good? Oh. That's good. As dusk approached, we switched from spearing shallow water to some deeper breaks in the hopes of getting some walleyes overnight. After setting up the house, I thought it'd be fun to start a fire on the ice. And as I was working on the fire, Broads said through the tent wall that he had a fish on. And honestly, I thought he was pulling my leg. I didn't think his voice sounded excited enough for it to be real. So I hesitated to flip on the camera and go into the tent because I didn't want to do it for nothing. Eventually I thought, what do I have to lose? I walked over to the door to head in and just as I was about to open the door, I heard the fish come up the hole. So I was looking at that rod. Yep. And then I look over here and this, this rod was tipped over. And then I went over there to check it and then I felt the fish. <laughs> Nice walleye broads. Hey, good work. Here, hold them up. Got it? Yep. You got them? Look at that. Night fishing. Buddies. So this was Sleep Central. wasn't too bad. The purpose of this little trip was to provide a time and place for me to encourage my son. He loves being outside hunting and fishing, so a little ice fishing spearing overnight was the perfect environment. What I'm doing at the moment is reading off a list of attributes and strengths that I see in Brody. I want him to know who he is, that I'm proud of him, that I see great things in him, and that as his dad, I believe he has what it takes. I want him to begin to recognize some of the things that his mother and I see in him. We all need the encouraging observations of others, kids especially so. I don't know if he'll remember this for the rest of his life. Maybe he will, and maybe he'll talk about it with his kids someday. Maybe he'll even do it, but maybe he won't. Maybe this will be logged in his memory alongside the many outdoor trips we've taken and will take. And even if that's the case, that's okay. For a couple days, we had fun, bonded, and encouraged each other. Maybe this experience is more like a hearty meal we had a year ago. It fueled us for the journey, but if pressed, we don't exactly remember what we ate. Encouragement can be a lot like that.